Hello, this is Michael from Easy Plugins and in this video I will show you how to control the conditional system in EasyForm Calculator. First, add the template conditional example which comes with the plugin. Let's see how the form works first. We have a radio element with two options. If we choose option A, two elements labeled radio A and numbers A show up automatically. If we choose option B, radio B and numbers B will show up. Now head back to the form and open up the first radio element and see the options section. It is essential to have unique values for each option so the conditional system can separate them. The values for this element are 0 for option A and 1 for option B. Now scroll down to the conditional section. You will see four conditional rows. Let me explain how the conditional system works first. The first column is the action column. You can determine which action will be executed when this conditional row meets all the requirements, which I will explain soon. You can show and hide elements, set input values, and activate and deactivate elements in terms of calculation. The second column is the target element. All elements in this form are shown here. If you add more elements to the form, click on the refresh button so the list will be updated. TV means target value and is only writable when you have selected the set action. This will actually set the value of the target element. CO means conditional operator. The conditional system works like this. Show element radio A if the selected value equals 0. The selected value is the selected option value. Also we have another conditional row to show the numbers A element here. If the selected value is 1, show these two elements instead. Keep in mind that the opposite action will take effect immediately when a value was changed. This means that the opposite action of show is hide, so you do not need to add additional rows to actually hide an element when the value is 0.